This is the ThinkPad X1 Carbon that I got in the last video, where I bought 10 laptops for $100. The company I bought these from specializes in refurbishing electronics, and these laptops were the ones that either they couldn't refurbish or weren't worth refurbishing. So essentially, I just bought their trash. But you know what? Another person's trash is another person's treasure. So let's take a look at this laptop and see if we can figure out why they threw this one away. For starters, the top lid has quite a few scratch marks on it. And it's also a bit dirty. At the bottom I could see the stickers from the company that I purchased it from. And there's also that chip in the back corner. At the front, there's a bit of a gap where the bottom cover isn't quite attached as well. It also had some issues booting into Windows, where it would get stuck after the Windows load screen. However, when I reinstalled Windows and performed a BIOS update, that issue went away completely. I opened up the device to see if I could figure out why the bottom cover was misaligned. When I opened it up, I could see that the battery had already been replaced in the past since it doesn't have Lenovo branding. Maybe it's not as good as an OEM battery, but it's better than nothing or a spicy pillow. I noticed that at the bottom cover, there was a missing screw on one of the clips. So I stole a screw from a MacBook Pro battery and screwed it in. I also decided to remove the discount electronic stickers. It seems like one of the stickers peeled apart and got stuck. So I got out some rubbing alcohol and began swabbing the heck out of it. I got an off-brand Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and wiped off some of that residue on the bottom, and also the rest of the bottom cover as well. I set that aside to let it dry, and decide to reapply the thermal paste. First I removed the battery, then the heatsink and fan assembly. I use a cotton swab with 91% isopropyl alcohol and remove the thermal paste from the CPU. And I do the same thing with the heat sink as well. I apply thermal paste to the edge of the die and spread it on. Then I add an extra dot in the middle for good measure. Putting the heat sink back on, I screw it in a star pattern to make sure that it spreads evenly. I began reassembly, placing the battery back and screwing the bottom panel back in. I noticed that the panel still isn't lining up. Upon closer inspection, I could see that there was a clip missing towards the front. As of now, I'm not really sure how I could fix this without buying a new panel. So if you have any ideas, please let me know in the comments below. For now, I'll just screw the panel back in and accept it the way it is. I clean the top panel with a Mr. Clean eraser and it looks a lot better when I'm done, although there is still a visible scratch. I also clean the screen and the palm rest as well. Now with the device clean, I boot it up and it logs in pretty fast thanks to the M2 SSD. This computer has an i5-6300U. With only dual cores and four threads, this isn't exactly a very powerful processor, but it isn't completely terrible either. It's good enough for watching movies and videos, browsing the web, using Bing chat, learning in online college classes, or just looking at the internet in general. It can even do some light gaming such as Minecraft as well. If you really wanted something like this, but with more processing power, you could get a used 6th generation Carbon X1 instead, with a quad-core i5-8250U. This device also only has 8GB of RAM, but do you really need more than 8GB of RAM? Oh. Oh, you do? Oh, okay. Fair enough. So yeah, some people might need at least 16GB of RAM. Some people might need 32. Others might need a thousand gigabytes of RAM if they're using it for some big fancy scientific purposes or something. When you're buying a computer, you should buy a computer that has the hardware that meets your needs. But many people don't always need the highest performance. 
For those who just do some basic light office task, this computer is still perfectly capable for that. And yes, this computer is not officially supported by Windows 11. And I fully expect to see many more computers like this just being thrown away for that reason. Although even after Windows 10 support has ended, this computer will still be great with Linux, or if that's not your cup of tea, there's also Chrome OS as well. I hope you enjoyed the video and feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank <laughs> you.